Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. Definitely makes life a little bit easier. There's that one out, and then you over here. And this Viper shot, the Cobra shot, sorry. Quick shot causing nine physical damage reduces the cooldown of kill command by one second. I don't have kill command. You know what we haven't done yet, is we haven't used Touch of the Void. Like summoning up these things. Oh. Let's go in here. A land be a land of ice and snow. Okay. But beneath the earth, child, there always be fire. This spirit comes from deep down to talk with Griknir. This is kind of concerning. This this elemental spirit that's coming up. I've, 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 I've got my concerns about this. Excuse me. I completely forgot that we've got the chauffeur. Completely forgot about this bad boy. There. Now we can travel around in style without technically riding a mount because the chauffeur is carrying us. We're not doing it ourselves. This is this is the great thing about this. Yeah, let's just stop there a minute. Need assistance? Oh dear. Things aren't looking good for Felix. Once I get my tools, I'm out of here. Bizarre, you found them. Get ready, women and known regun. Here comes Felix. Now, which road takes me out of here? Be seeing you. Later, dude. Later. Apprentice Soren. Great to meet you. Mm, interesting. From what you're saying, it sounds like a fire elemental might have snuck in from Searing Gorge. Or the earthquake opened up a crack to the elemental plane. Soren laughs uncomfortably. Ha! <laughs> uh, either way, this is bad news. You should probably report this information to Greelin. Off with you. And we'll level up again as soon as we mind? turn this one in. Hopefully that did the trick. Anvilmar will be safe from the trolls for the time being. Now to find out what it is that has the trolls so agitated. The Anvilmar musket there would have been an upgrade on the other gun that we had. But um, yeah, we, we've, we've got an heirloom. See, this is why I... I, I I like the idea of leveling for. I don't know if I'll use heirlooms again on our next character. We'll have to see. I don't, like, I'm already planning my next character, and I haven't reached level 10 yet. This one could take a while. How much do we get? That's 21 and that's 20. We take the most expensive one, and we get healing herbs as well. There we go. Level 8. Now we're kicking along. And we got... Ooh, look, 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 look. Uh, new, we've learned disengage. That one right there, leap backwards. Haha, <laughs> nice. Right, that's a good no. way. Of, it, it, basically, you, you, you just Safe get travel. out of it. Oh, I, I forgot to read and accept this one. Kill Grickner the Cold. Six Frostmane Blades. Uh, wait a minute. Here. Soren did well to send you out on recon. There's some good information you have right there. Trouble is, it just adds more work for us to do. The trolls, confused as they are right now, still could... Still would like to kick the dwarves right out of Coldridge. I'm certainly not going to let some fiery demon turn our snowy valley into a mountain lake. The troll leader, his servants, and the fire creature should all be in the cave to the southeast. Take them all out. Uh, no, don't, uh, don't, don't. About I was, I was going to. Uh, I need to accept that one. Right. So we're, we're, we're just yeah. That, that's all we need to do. Right. So we we need to head over this way now. It'll be level 30 before I finish the Westfall quest. Who's Ulrich? Ulrich! Ulrich von Lichtenstein. Mini Frith has just come online. Ulrich von Lichtenstein. Oh, that's, um... Oh, he's in Westfall. Dwarf over in Westfall. That would be Torval. Ulrich von Lichtenstein, I love, and yeah, Torvald also really loves that movie, hence the Ulrich. Um, but yeah, does, does anybody else know Ulrich von Lichtenstein? Anyone know where that's from? Uh, Mini Frith has come online as well. Anyway, we are going to go racing on up this way. We need to find the entrance to this cave. There is a cave entrance around here somewhere that we need to go in. Wait. Where is the cave entrance? Looking on here. Cave entrance is over there. We're a little little bit out on our trajectory right here. The cave is... Where the, the bit in the cave is a little bit away from where the actual entrance to the cave is. There is the entrance to the cave. Right there. That's where we need to go. Frost main blades. Uh, 
Right. Oh, I, I need to kill some frost main blades. So we'll do that a minute. Uh, I gonna make you into more jaw. Killing you be easy. I'll do that, and I'll take that dude over there. I can do the disengage thing if I need to, but uh, I don't actually need to at the moment. We've got a few coppers there. There's another blade and another blade. We want uh, basically what we're going to want uh, a little bit later on, when, when we can get it, is a pet that is able to tank. That's, that's going to be the aim for everything that we're after, is a pet that is able to tank really well. I need one more blade, so I'll just kill... I'll take this one out right here. Kill this dude. There. And then we can wander on up this way. Which way do we need to go? We need, we, we need to go this way, so we, we go down this hill. Uh, Frostmane Novice. We need to find some Frostmane Novice. <laughs> oh, they kept saying... Hang on. What do we got in here? Um, clock here is reading 18.45. Yeah, evening evening for you. Who's, hang, I, I can't remember which one is Minifrith. Minifrith is Holy Banger. 7.46 a.m. The UK will compromise and take 15.46. Yeah, that's, that's where we are. 7.46 a.m. over there in the U.S. Uh, 18.45. So where's, where are you then, Mr. Mini Frith? Uh, Mini Frith is enjoying the sunshine in Dubai. And we've got a little bit of sunshine. I've heard that a lot of people in the northern states have got uh, snow falling on the ground. And Sen is currently watching the film with the volcano that turns up in the middle of L.A. Um... Yeah. Uh, I don't think we need to tempt fate by asking for more disasters to befall the human race. We've, we've got enough issues going on with just um, all, all of the problems with the lockdown that we've, we've got at the moment. So, um, yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of that film. I'm, I'm absolutely not a big fan of that film. This is... Oh, wait a minute. We're, we're supposed to get Grick near the cold. But I got a wayward fire elemental down there. I don't know if I'm supposed to do something to him. I also need to get a frost main novice, so I'll take that one. If I shoot, no, the concussive shot doesn't actually seem to do anything. But I'll take you out. Now, you over here. Take you down. Like that. But then, what I, what I just want to use this one. I want to jump back like that. But then, I also want to go in here and I want to use those. The void tendrils. I, I used everything. It's the whole lot. Oh, I need to. I, I need you as well. Slow him down like that. There we go. And then keep hitting him. Keep hitting him. Don't you don't you be shooting me with that fiery stuff. Excellent. Now we're ready for turn. I can act well no, that takes me all the way back to Anvilmar. I don't want to go to Anvilmar. We're gonna have to walk all the way out of the cave, and then once we've wandered our way out of the cave, we can go and turn this ice and fire quest in that should be most of the stuff for this little starting zone all finished then i should think and we'll be heading on to dunmorrow which is like the, the next sort of bit i'll kill a couple of these things on the way out just because that's gonna get us just a little tiny bit closer to level 10 and i think you've got to be level 10 to learn the first uh, couple of quests uh, let's cut a couple of quests to learn the first steps for skinning and leather working and I want to have both of them I want to get both of those So it's, it's gonna require a trip to iron forge, but usually as soon as you get to the first village I see I don't remember I've not done dwarf uh, So I'm not really sure I, I may have done dwarf once just for a little bit, but um, yeah I haven't really done well much of it. Met. I'm glad you returned safely, Beldrast. Well, it may not look like it now. You've proven to be a tremendous asset in the protection of Andalmar. Here, take this as a symbol of gra my gratitude. We've got mail. Ooh, that's an upgrade. Okay, we'll take that one. And we've leveled up. <laughs> wow. Oh, I thought that. I thought we jumped up two levels there for a minute, but no, we haven't. We haven't jumped two levels. We jumped one level. 
The presence of fire elemental here in Coldridge is no small matter. That earthquake did more than just upset a bunch of trogs. It changed the world enough to tear a gash into the elemental plane. We should submit a report to Ironforge. You wouldn't be willing to take a trip, would you? Don't worry, I have a feeling that you'll do just fine. Talk to Hans Spring Sprocket by the tunnel on the eastern edge of the valley. He'll point you in the right direction. Be good. Right, that's it. We're not heading back to Andalmar. We need to go on out of this area and on into the next area. And we, we've we've got big things afoot. I want my, I want my mount. Right, big things are afoot. Big things are happening. So we, we're going to go up this way. You know what? We're actually going to follow the road. Because let's be honest, that, that is something that you would do. I am going to shortcut over to this bit of the road. Um... But then I think that it, it is only right that we follow the road where we can. I mean, this guy is someone that likes braving the wilderness, but he's not above riding a motorbike wherever he goes, apparently. Apparently that is something that he finds quite acceptable, riding a motorbike around. A little bit strange seeing our mighty hunter who likes to brave the wilderness cruising around in a, um, in a motorbike like this. But uh, I, I, I can go with that. I can run with that. That's, that's, that's not a problem. Oh, wait a minute. We, we had an we had an upgrade here, didn't we? Uh, that one right there. That that was an, an upgrade. We got an extra bit of armor on there. So at the moment we got 37 armor. Now we got 38 armor. Just like that. It was that quick. It was that easy. Now, move on up this way. Past Mountaineer Thalos. And we've got just regular Cold Ridge Mountaineers. There's the dude that I'm after. That's not a dwarf. Honored, I'm sure. To Ironforge? Well, first you'll need to go through, uh, through Karana, Karanos. But y you'll need to go, yeah, through through Karanos. But before that, you'll have to go through this tunnel. Uh. All right, so you gotta go ahead through this tunnel and what? That. Okay, I, I don't remember that before. I because you know when you start a brand new character and you don't do the quests from here. You basically just walk through the tunnel. Did, did, did you see that? How the whole cave just crumbled like that? I guess it's good that you got here when you did and not a minute earlier. While this development makes my job of monitoring the cave entrance much easier, I imagine it makes it a lot harder for you to get to Ka Karanos. Hey, wait, I got an idea. The Nomrigan airmen have a flight path not far from here. I'll send up a signal. They should be here to help. I imagine they'll land back over at Anvilmar. Report to Milo Gear Twinge near Adelmar. Very well then. Okay, we've got to go and find Mr. Gear Twinge. Yeah, see, I've I've gone right through here previously, but now we're not able to. Like, it, it, so I didn't realise that doing the quests actually stopped you from being able to drive through there. I don't know if that's a permanent thing or not. I kind of hope it's not. I kind of hope that we will be able to get through. Milo Gear Twinge. Good day to you. Milo Gear Twinge reporting for duty. You sent up a distress signal? The weight limit on my gyro is such that I only have enough room for one dwarf. Looks like you're in luck, Beldrast. Uh, what about Bear over here? It's very important to me that Bear is able to come along as well. Hmm. We'll see. That dwarf woman, Jonah, told me that mo most of your personal belongings have been moved inside Anvilmar. Please gather what you need, finish up any affairs that remain, and return to me when you're prepared for takeoff. You need to obtain a Coleridge beer flagon, ragged wolf hide cloak, and some leftover boar meat. And then we can also get a Coleridge Mountaineer's pouch. Alrighty then. Which does quite good, actually, because we've got one container that we still don't have. Uh, you know what, we'll just summon the chauffeur rather than walking. You, you, technically, you would sort of walk around this area, wouldn't you? Like, honestly, we, we, we wouldn't be riding our motorbike straight up and into here. That being said, we can do it. We, we will ride right on in. Let's go and... Oh, we got another quest over there from Jonah. Uh, let's, let's go and speak to her a minute. What's on your mind? You're leaving. Make sure you stock up before you head out. More importantly, please speak to Tharak Blackstone once you've arrived in Karanos. Tell him what has happened here in Coldridge and that we could use some assistance. 
Hopefully he'll be able to arrange something for us. Keep your feet on the ground. Keep your feet on the ground. Coldridge beer flagon. And a ragged wolf hide cloak. And then finally some leftover boar meat right there. That's everything that we need. Now we need to run over here. And we're going to go back. And we want to see our dude by the aircraft. By the plane down over this way. And then we should be away. We have to fly our way out of here. Ooh, right. Oh, no, I haven't got anything on there yet. Greetings. Are you absolutely certain you've taken care of everything? You won't have time to turn back. Uh, yeah. I am absolutely certain. Took you long enough. Hold on tight and take a good hard look. Chances are you won't be coming back here for quite some time. All right, all right, all right. We, we, we get it. Okay. Very good. 50 quests complete. Really? I've already done 50 quests. I didn't think that I'd done that many. That seems wrong. He Hello? Is this thing on? Ah, there you are. Hello. I figured that you're, if you're flying to Karanos, I'd give you some data about what's going on outside of Cold Ridge Valley. All right. What sort of data are you going to It seems you Cold Ridge folk are dreadfully uninformed about the events of the last few days. What are we uninformed about? If you thought you had problems with trolls in Coldreach, wait till you get to Karanos. That big cataclysm got the trolls all stirred up out there. Out here. Come on. And if you look to your left, you'll see that the gnomes have retaken Gnomerigan. Hooray for us! Well, congratulations. It's been a long time coming. There's plenty else we got going on here, too. We've opened up a path to the airport. There's rooms of Dark Irons in the east. Oh, and I think something weird is going on with that Dwarf King, Magni. Might want to check it out. Yeah, that's, that's the whole thing where he's turned into crystal. And here we are. Welcome to Karanos. Watch your step on the way out. Ah, oh, thanks very much, dude. Appreciate the lift. And all that sort of thing. Uh, right, we've got... Well, there's a flight point down over there. I'm going to speak to Tharic Blackstone first. What's on your mind? Coldridge Valley. I've got my own problems here. What, they can't deal... What, they can't deal with a couple of trogs and trolls and incursions from the elemental plane? Actually, on second thought, that's kind of a lot. I'm surprised they're doing as well as they are. I'll see what I can do. Be good. All right. Okay, we've got Fluxwire felines and irradiated roaches to get out here. I think you've got to go actually down into Gnomerigan to go and get those. So we're not going to be getting them anytime immediately soon. But we'll, we'll try and get them as quickly as we can. Next, I want to get you. Like that. And then I'll run around the village and we'll pick up what quests we can get a second. The Cataclysm has thrown the balance of power in Dunmorrow. Into question, Beldrast. Without a warning, a wave of trogs emerged from the caves near Nomragon and overran the Frostmane trolls. Trolls have been migrating east ever since. There's always been a Frostmane presence up on Shimmer Ridge to the northwest, but with the migration of trolls now surround us, we can't allow the trolls to use this position to their advantage. While my men hold the line in the east, strike against the Shimmer Ridge. So, since the Queen loves mages, is she going the Destro Lock route? See, I've been a Destro Lock for absolutely ages, because I really like the Destro Lock. But you've got to remember that a Warlock has a pet, whereas a mage doesn't. Um, I may end up doing a mage at some point. We'll, we'll have to see. Interest you on a pint? I'm on a quest to make the perfect stout. Now, I, I know I can do it. Bruin's in me blood. I just need to find the right recipe. The Frostmane trolls grow a plant, Shimmerweed, up on Shimmer Ridge to the northwest. They use it in their strange tribal rituals. Haven't found much use for it, but it has a unique taste, and I want to experiment with it in my brews. Obtaining the Shimmerweed will be dangerous, but I'll pay well for I'll pay well for any you can borrow from the baskets in the troll village. Off with you. All right, we'll bring a little bit of shimmer brew for you. And then we've got Ragnar Thunder Brew over here. What can I do for you? Nothing my tavern patrons enjoy more than some beer-basted boar ribs. 
Only problem is a local trapper who used to bring me supplies enlisted in the King's army uh, to help with the war on the Alliance front. Maybe you can help me out. If you bring me some boar ribs and a rhapsody moat from the tavern here, I'll give you the family recipe for me famous beer-basted boar ribs. Not to mention a free sample. The secret's in the malt. Safe travels. Okay, I need to go and get a jar of um, booze from in here a minute. We've got innkeepers, warrior trainer. I don't think we've got a skinning trainer in the village here. We'll have to find out. No. Fill your tankard and pull up a chair. We've stories to tell and kegs to empty. We want to make this. See you soon. Make this in my home now. How are you? Right there. And then I want to go into here. Rhapsody malt. That's the one that I needed to buy. Be good. Be good. Um. Yeah, see, I, the, Ulrich here is saying, Affliction all the way, been playing that spec since vanilla, loads and loads of dots. And I used to do Affliction until I needed to switch to Destro for a raid several years ago now. And I really, really enjoyed playing the Destro. So I, I kind of stayed with it because I needed to for a while. And that was when it wasn't easy to switch between specs either. It, it took quite a bit and money as well. Um, so I stuck with that for a while, and then I just, just kind of liked it. And then they changed the um, Affliction spec anyway, quite considerably. So I didn't get anywhere near as much enjoyment out of it anymore. And, and I just kind of stuck with Destro. I'm, I've been Destro on my Warlock for uh, absolutely ages. But if I do it again, I could always change it over, I suppose. Now, i just seen there's a quest here somewhere. Go and try and find it. It's in here. There we go, Cooking Trainer. What can I do for you? Train me. We can learn some cooking right there. Requires level 5. Okay, we'll do that. Let's get rid of that bit. Don't want lure errors. We've learned roasted boar meat and charred wolf meat. And we can also learn spice bread. We don't want to learn anything See you else soon. In a Herb baked eggs, roasted boar meats. We've got the new ability classic cooking. It allows a cook to make basic recipes up to a maximum potential skill. Yada, yada, yada. So then I want to go into here and we'll go to professions and we can make a cooking fire there. And we've got cooking right there underneath. Not going to do fishing with this character, but I will do some of the others. Yeah, at the moment we got quite a lot of people that are working on dwarves and... No, we got... Well, we got people that are... Working on all kinds of different characters, making the most of the winds of wisdom so that we can, as a guild, really start to make a difference with our... We've got the class act one now, that, that one's come up, but really start to make a difference with the stay classy achievements. They're slowly working their way through a whole load of them. So we've had several gnomes have been made and we've had a few dwarves have been made as well. We've got a death knight that's now leveled up, that was Sen, I think she's got her monk... She's also got a panda hunter is in the guild. That's been done. And we're quickly working through all of them. I am hoping that I'll be the one that will get the dwarven hunter achievement in. I didn't get the human paladin, not by a long, long way. Um, but yeah, see, we're slowly covering a lot of these, which is absolutely fine. I've really loved that we're getting so much closer to completing all of them. Anyway. What's on your mind? Cooking is a lifelong pursuit, and I see we share the same passion. I see a lot of young dwarves at my door, eager to learn a trade of cooking. And if there's one thing a cook needs more than anything, it's a cleaver. I have a list of students who scored high in their lessons and earned an honorary cleaver. Take my list to Gold near Boulder Toe in Ironforge. He'll get the cleavers ready. The fastest way to Ironforge is on Griffin. So make so bring the list to our Griffin master, Brolin Galebeard, and speak with him about transport to Ironforge. Watch your back. Right, so this is there's always a delivery quest. We had one when we were playing human up to uh, to Stormwind. Now we've got a delivery quest to take us to Ironforge. It's basically, just to show the new player the main city. That's why we have it. Now I'm going to do a quest just here. I've got that bit where I need to go over to the Flight Master and just do that. Um, I do have another quest. I've got those up there on the Frost Main area. Uh, honor students. Tender boar, tender boar ribs. We'll do the boar ribs. If, if we can find some boar around here, we'll, we'll do the boar ribs bit. And I need to find some actual boars to do this. 
And then we can go and turn that one in, and that should take us to level 10, just in case we've got to be level 10 for the skinning or anything like that. And I said that I'm not going to do fishing with this one. I'm also not going to worry too much about cooking either. I'm not going to be spending very much time working on the cooking. I have no plans to be doing that to any great extent. Um, all I really want to do is just I have the cooking there so that it can be used if we want to, just for like a little bit of flavor as we go along. Um, maybe make a couple of dishes, but for the most part, we won't worry about it. And it'll be the same with... Alright, I got a wolfie right there. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sort of thinking maybe it should be the same with... Uh, well, we won't take fishing at all. I won't have fishing, but... Um, archaeology. I'm just wondering if we should do archaeology. I haven't done very much archaeology at all on the paladin. But I'm wondering if we should do archaeology on this character. This one can focus on archaeology. Whereas the other character, you know, we got fishing and we got so many other things on our main character. Let's, let's have a look in here. Altaholic, it should tell us what we've got. We've got skills in there. See, you got, um, I got the, ignore the warlock, ignore the warlock. We got Grundor on the paladin. I got no data. Archaeology, I've got 57 archaeology. Up to 312 Kalimdor. All cooldowns are up. 767 out of 950 archaeology right there. But you, Grundor, your archaeology. Show me anything about archaeology, really. Uh, yeah, see, see, the other stuff, I got 369 on cooking, Frithgar has actually got way better than that, but I, I normally don't have Frithgar's stuff on here at all, shouldn't really be on there, um, no, we, we got the fishing, now for some reason the fishing's not showing up here, it's not, all the data is not showing up there, uh, it should do, because, uh, Grundorn has got quite a bit of fishing, so has Frithgar as well, cooking is at least showing up but yeah I'm, I'm thinking that we might try and do archaeology on this character because like rather than doing everything on one character if we were to do archaeology on this one the fishing and the cooking is kind of Grondorn's passions along with his engineering um I just I, I don't know it, it seems fitting that a, a dwarf would do archaeology and also, you remember, this dwarf is a hunter by trade. He's, he's spent his life outside exploring the wilderness. And that's, that's what he likes to do. He, he likes to be outside. He doesn't like, he's not someone that likes to delve deep into the mountains. So, he, I mean, archaeology. How much archaeology is done delving deep into mountains? mining deep underground and how much archaeology is done up on the surface most of it is done up on or near the surface and is done in remote areas like most archaeology is done in remote spots so it sort of seems to fit the feel of this character the backstory that little backstory that i've created for him kind of seems to fit together so i i kind of that's why i kind of like this idea i'm kind of thinking that it, it would fit now, obviously, get in the comments section and tell me if you think that you don't feel that this character would be best suited for doing the archaeology. And I should just stick to doing it all on Grundorn. I've done some on Grundorn. I've done, and so we have seen the archaeology being done a bit. But I definitely haven't done so much that I'd, I'd sort of feel like we've wasted a load of time on there at the moment. We Like, we, we've done a little bit. Um in the grand scheme of things and it doesn't feel like I would have wasted that time if I then kind of disregard that and start working on another character for it. Well unfortunately folks the bear is getting a wee bit tired and well I suppose we could admit that we're getting a little bit tired as well so we're gonna have a little bit of rest and recuperation enjoy some meat and mead and while we do that if you've enjoyed the episode then please head down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome and until next time thank you very much for watching this is Frithgar goodbye and see you later